Hey there, YouTube. Figured I would, uh, put out my own little video here with the, uh, you know, best little modification I've found to increase FPS. And even an extreme version where we're going to quadruple our FPS from the stock recommended settings. Now, I don't recommend it to actually try to quadruple it. And we'll see more about why a little bit later. But what we're going to definitely do is functionally double our FPS. Now, stock recommended settings on a fresh generated INI file here suggest I should be operating this game around 15 frames a second and that's menu frames um, I'm not gonna do that that's just way too low so let's decrease some settings here decrease some resolution and let's see what that 15 seconds does you know immediately we've doubled that now that's not the doubling I'm talking about you know this is maybe gonna spike at 30 frames a second and normally that would spike around 30 frames a second if I wasn't running recording and the steam like you know Nvidia GeForce experience that costs about one frame steam overlayer that costs about one frame shadow play that costs about two frames uh, worth it in my opinion you know all those you know one frame here one frame there however we want to see gains you guys came here to see gains you know my computer it's a laptop got some decent cooling a 2 gig dedicated card running an Nvidia right next to my Intel um, but what we need to do is drop our screen scale you know you could see that you know we got a 10 frame per second gain earlier when we changed our screen scale to uh, 70 you know that increases about 10 frames a second but what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop to 1 you know if you don't know how to get to this file location I will leave the hot link in the description if you've made it this far and you're like hey where the fuck did you go to get that file you know don't worry we'll review it a second time here in the game because we're not going to leave it on these settings and I'll also have this in the description where you can <coughs> simply just copy and paste this into your explorer window and have it automatically open your file location based on your windows username etc etc so taking a look at our frames per second in the lobby where we were at 30 we are now at 43 53 62 60 frames per second you know let's take a look at the screen scale is set at one I mean this is low I mean everything's set to very low but that is very low you know it's unfortunate that we don't have this option you know generally you know I mean some machines are out there some players are out there spent thirty dollars for this game and they want to be able to actually have fun you know well i've been gaming since atari and this does look better than playing berserker or night driver on atari worst thing about it is everything's moving you can see some character movement it's kind of obvious but that grass man it just doesn't stop it's gigantic pixels here. However, you know, this, we're, we're trying to increase frames. We're not... I didn't say I was going to give you a higher dots per inch pixel ratio. You know, we're talking about that, that screen setting, man. And, you know, I'm punching some to 59 frames a second. You know, this is the fastest updating that this computer is going to handle. You know... That's not bad. Drops down to 50? I mean, hey, who's complaining? You 
Now I'm gonna try and make a kill happen. I tried doing this tutorial <laughs> earlier, and oh my god, we need to do something about these stock settings only team. Thank you. So, 112 frames a second in the plane. I mean, that's pretty high. You know, generally, like on the on the recommended stock minimum, you know, I've seen it jump up to 60, 80, something like that in the plane, but over 100, decent. Decent, right? So, we'll try and make some quick game happen. You know, if you can stand to play this way, more power to you. You know what I mean? I don't really recommend going this low. But, you know, you didn't come here for slower frames per second and a prettier game. You came here to see the truth. How are you going to get more frames per second? You know, and on my machine, this is maxed out. This is as high as I can possibly get it. You know, this is an NVIDIA K1100M laptop video card graphics processor. Functional frames, 41. I mean, hey, that's not bad. 45, 50 even. I'm looting at 50 frames a second. This is ridiculous. Let's see what happens if we get in a firefight. Not out here specifically to make some kills. More out here just to give you proof of concept on these frames. But seeing drops down to 37, 36, 37, 35. You know, this is definite gains, you know, this is faster by on average 15 to 20 frames faster. Now is it necessary we strip it back this far? I mean, if you want function, sure, why not? Why not strip it back this far? You know, I've seen spikes in this mode. You know, everything turned off. Steam turned off. GeForce Experience turned off. I think he's in here. Hey, that's not bad. 39 frames a second. Between 35 and 39 during that whole battle. I mean, that's... 5 to 10 frames faster than this than the average minimum that I could even set it to in the lobby but also you didn't come here to get Rick rolled I am not here to screw you over you want a proof of concept that's what I'm giving you that's the most gains that I can possibly get. There might be other things you can do with launcher settings and whatever. But you know, what I've found works for me is set this at 50. 50. That's it. C, users, username, app data, local, TSL game, saved, config, Windows, no editor. There'll be a link in the description below. This is the exact location you need to be. The file is game user settings. All we do is change screen scale. Set it to 50. That's it. Any other changes you make in game, you know, happen right here. So, let's fire this up again. Let's see what we get at 50. 50 is actually what I personally play at.
You know, it's probably increased my amount of kills. I don't know. By a bit. Helps a little bit. You know, I wish that, uh... You know, I guess I could have set up a tripod and a camera on the screen and everything and really given you guys a more accurate frames per second because, you know, my GPU is being shared by the screen recording software and the game. So that robs me by a bit. Uh, keeping that in mind, you know, that is frames. That could be two, three. I mean, I guess on average, that's about five frames just to be operating this. Maybe more like four frames. However, uh, you know, you can see right here, let's get down to it. Screen scale set to 50. And you can always change that back if you want. Just right in the in-game menu. If, you, if you're like, I don't like one. You know, and you want to change it back to 70, just drag it down to 70. Type in 70. It won't let you type in 0. Which is kind of unfortunate. We have to manually type in 0. Or 1. But, you know, we've got to work with what we got here. So let's see how this is. This isn't too bad. What's our frames? Functional. Run around 27, 30, 27. Thirty-one, thirty-nine. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's some frames, you know. So in my experience, you know, I get highs around fifty. I get drops down to about twenty-five. You know, hangs out around forty on average. Well, I'm happy with that. That's not too bad. So, you know, let's, let's, let's see what happens during a firefight, though, you know. The proof is in the pudding, if we can make a kill happen here. You know, on average, you know, our lobby was loading up at about 30 frames a second. And, you know, when that drops down to 15 frames a second, or less, 12 even, you know, that's you getting killed. So fuck that. We want more kills. We want people having more fun. You know, we're in the plane. We're rocking about 80 frames. You know, that's not too bad. You know, it'll actually, generally, if I'm not operating all this, if I'm in, there's other things too. Full screen mode, you know, get it out of this windowed mode. I actually had a kill in Minecraft mode earlier when I had that screen, screen scaling set to one. I made a kill, but it was in full screen mode and I couldn't switch back and forth from the game to the windows. But you know, that'll be a few frames a second even too. Just operate that low resolution, full screen mode, you get more gains, you know. Like I said, I'm not here to give you a Rickroll fake. I'm here to give you, you know, what's functional. You know, this, in my opinion, has some PS2 quality video, you know. It's rendering it decent enough speed for online and you know what what have we got let's hit the ground let's see what we got here 22 23 24 31 26 29 drop as deep as 20 that doesn't stick for long <coughs> taking damage at 31 32 frames a second Spikes to 38. Now this isn't too bad here. Now if I can remember my way around this map. And as like I said, generally, you know, I'm operating around 40 frames per second. With my settings set about here. And that's about where I like it to be, you know, lower than here. I tried 45, and it was just too much of a quality loss to justify performance. But I think everybody should have that access to information, you know. If you really want to make that sacrifice and go one, do it, you know what I mean? We got this guy pinned down.
cash money. 35 frames per second. Hell yeah. You know, that's that's really not too bad. You know what I mean? Even set at zero. You know, our firefight was around 35. Here we are, you know, again, about 35. You know, when it comes down to it, you know, we can drop that to about 50 and see gains. You know, in my opinion, that's worth it. So anyways, I'm glad I could, you know, show you guys that, you know, this really does make a difference. And if you really want to go hardcore, you know, hopefully you pick up a scope and you can play in one, you know what I mean? If you got a decent computer, you know, that might be the difference between 60 frames and 120 frames. You know, if you're already getting 100 frames, fuck, you might be able to get 200 frames. You know? You know, I play this game and I'm maxed out. <coughs> My GPU core is just maxed out all game. <coughs> Fuck, where is this guy coming from? I don't even care. But that's all there is to it, guys, you know, guys and gals. I just wanted to share with you some, you know, little modifications that I've found that give me, you know, these average performance gains. I really like that, like, I can set it to set it to 50. I get 50 frames in the, lob, in the top level menu. You know, that makes me happy. You know what I mean? I like, I like being able to see that, you know, this computer is a little bit better than what PUBG thinks it is. You know, this game can run a little bit faster. You know, so that's why you came here. I hope you really are happy, you know, and you, you're able to apply these settings and changes and, you know, see some gains, you know. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ask questions, you know. Hey, leave me links to your, you know, kills if you set that screen scaling to one. You know, I want to see it. I've been there. I've done it. It's fun. You know what I mean? So uh, feel free to leave that in the comments if you want to link people over to see your screen scale one kills. You know, we want to see that shit. Um, you know, a lot of people are into the Minecraft, you know, so if you're into that, hell yeah, have fun with it, run with it. You know, if you don't like the settings, you can always delete that file and the game will generate you a new one. Um, you can always just set it back to 100 manually. Nothing wrong with that. You know, so I just really hope that everybody is able to get in game and have fun. Even if your computer sucks, you don't have to.